click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So this is a problem based on product mix. We have got a product with two models and we have got some resources. Now in this problem the resources are raw materials and they are given the technical names for the resources. And so students of commerce background may find it a bit difficult and they might find it difficult to formulate because of the technical names. But then more or less they had same problems with same type of solutions just because they give some technical names for like chemical xylobiline or maybe a chemical XYZ doesn't mean that it is a difficult problem. Just read the problem, have a clear conceptual understanding and then it will be very easy for you to understand such kind of problems. Let's read the problem. Sigma Electronics produces two models of electronic products using resistors, capacitors and chips. The following table gives the entire technological and other details. So we are given the resources with the technical name resistor, capacitor and chips. If you are confused you can just name them as resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 and then we have and then we have unit resource requirement that is the material or the resources required per unit and then we have the maximum availability or the maximum supply in the last row, I am given the unit profit that is the profit per unit for model 1 is 3 rupees and for model 2 it is 4 rupees. We need to make an assumption first. We have already given a table here, so no need to make a tabular format as we do in earlier problems. In many of the cases, that question itself might give the whole problem in a tabular format and we need not convert the paragraph into table because already we are given the table. Now how to work it out? First, we will work out our assumptions. Let x1 units of model 1 and x2 units of model 2 are manufactured there is no basic assumption and now my objective will be to maximize the profit because we are given the profit so our objective function will be maximize z equals to how much is my profit per unit 3 rupees multiplied by we have made an assumption of x1 here and we have made an assumption of x2 here. So 3 into x1 plus 4 into x2 is my profit or the total profit which I need to maximize. So 3 into x1 plus 4 into x2 subject to what are my constraints now? My constraints are my first constraint is 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 1200 is my total supply for resistors so 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 1200 my second constraint will be 2x1 plus 1x2 less than or equal to 1000 2x1 plus 1x2 less than or equal to 1000 and my last constraint will be 0x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 800. 0x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 800. That is 4x2 less than or equal to 800. I can just ignore writing 0x1. So these are my three resource constraints for resistors, capacitors and chips 
and now my last part that is my non negativity constraints here it will be x1 more than equals to 0 x2 more than equals to 0 thanks thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our channel ikira